that? Why? I hope he did. I hope he didn't steal it. Hey guys, welcome back to the KJ Anthony Machina. It's your girl Kid. I'm back with another movie. Yeah, that's right. I said another movie. A 1980s movie at that one. This is my first time watching a 1980s movie called Mayhem. It is an Indian movie. Let's jump right into it. This is an uh, Indian language also, but I had to do some research before I had started watching this a little bit, you know. But let's jump right into this. Watch the full video, guys, and like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so we already see that this man is flagging his airplane to come down. <laughs> so I'm guessing this man is telling the guards that the man that's flying the airplane is about to land. So get ready. Let's it's about to get intense. I see that this is action already, some drama. Did you just see all them people just come out popping out? <laughs> That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably fifteen more other people. For this one person in that plane, it's crazy. Look, they all about to run at them and stuff. Why are they all up on him like that? I wonder what he did. What he do? Somebody tell me what he do. For one off the rip, you could tell this is a 1980s movie. Look at the uniforms that they're wearing, the guards are wearing. Look at the hairstyles. Look at the little mustache right there, the old mustache. This man looks like he got into a lot of trouble. Okay, so right here, he's basically telling him that it's up to the judge to do whatever to him because he basically asking a man like what you gonna do to me like you want to kill me and then he like uh no i'm not it's up to the judge <laughs> oh my god and inside this church he's holding a little boy i guess this is a priest Okay, if I'm not saying it right, comment down below. Uh, priest holding a child with no shoes on. It's a gathering already, so something is already happening. So basically, right here, I'm guessing the honor. This is your honor. Why does it look like a church? That, that just confused me. So when he walked in, it looked like they was inside a church, but really they inside a courthouse. And the judge is like confused of why he got this little boy just laying here in front of him. Okay, so this man right here brought this young boy in front of the judge as evidence. Okay, guys. He brought him in front of the as evidence of why they trying to send this man to jail that they captured from the airplane. Remember, guys? Let's see what type of evidence they he, he got on him. Hey, Your Honor, or Laraum, a cigarette pita hai. Bobby Chirut. So, this little boy is basically dying from smoking a lot of cigarettes full of drugs. Like, that is so scary. He's only like 10 years old. Yeah, but Chapni Chai Kesat. The white shirt boy that right here, the young one that's on the right side, he's taking pills. E pills. I don't know. I'm not really familiar with these e pills things, but he's taking it. A lot of it. Now he's going on to the next evidence, which is the green shirt. Let's hear what he got to say about him. They're young. They're, for one, guys, they're really young in this 
who's giving them these drugs? Like, do they have parents? Foster parents? What is going on? He just said the one in the green shirt is, I think he's taking cocaine or he's, or something with cocaine. He's, I think he's taking it. Okay, and a judge is like kind of confused, like, so what you trying to prove? So what you trying to tell me? So you bring these kids in here drugged up, what is this to prove? He's a judge too. So it's two judge. I guess that's the top judge that want to send down. This is like the low standard judge. He has to prove to him, you know why he should be locked up. And basically, he's saying that that's just his friend. they friends. He's basically saying that these are bad environments for the kids. The kids is making this a habit. Like, everything's going to be doomed because these kids are just taking so many drugs. And what if all the drugs started you know, spray now worldwide, and then it's more kids taking drugs. He's angry. He's real angry. His friend that they trying to rock up is real angry. He's mad because he feel like they trying to frame him. So he playing like, playing victim. So he basically trying to prove to the drugs that the more drugs that's out there, it's going to be more criminals. The kids want to start looting, robbing people, like stealing, you know, doing more drugs. I do something about it. What they going to do about it? How they going to stop this? He's basically explaining that the one that's captured is responsible for all the kids that have been taking the drugs. And this is his friend. The thing though, because he, he just said that every day dream is for their son to grow up and like be strong to take care of them. You know? So they want their son to be strong enough to take care of them when they become an elder. I mean, it, it kind of happens, like when we get older, like ourselves, we're going to start, uh, I guess, relying on our kids to start taking care of us. So basically, that's what they said. So how the kids going to take care of us if they are drugged up? Oh, so, enough evidence to lock him up. Y'all think he, y'all think he deserves to get locked up, y'all? <laughs> I have to look back for like. Why are they looking at you just like that? Let me find out he's the one that's really doing it. He's the one that's framing them. The one right here, nobody, no jacket. This just came out to his friend and told him, like, don't be mad at me. Understand me. It's going to make you a good person. Yes, I to make better in San Manai, girl, much He's saying him being locked up is, is better. It's better for him. It's good for the environment. It's good for the kids. The kids not taking no more drugs. What's next? Don't go anywhere, guys. What's next? Remember to subscribe if you haven't, guys. Watch the full video. That's a nice, beautiful queen, Indian queen. That's how they used to dress in the 80s. Or do they, I know they still dress like this now. There's no way they don't. Cause like this is traditional, right? For the Indians, my mom and my mom, comment down below. For my fellow Indian friends and family and supporters. Do y'all still dress like this in India? Cause this is really nice, this is beautiful. I love it, how it's all color color in it, it's all pink. This is nice. Cool. You see how she wear all green? But she's doing the pain of the um, queen, I guess for her husband or somebody. Please. I'm sorry. Yeah, she asked her to stay still. 
So this beautiful queen just asked for her diamond necklace. So why you ask for it after though? Like during the painting. Now you gotta, you know, fix the painting and enjoy your necklace too. But let's see what kind of necklace she has. This type of diamond, beautiful diamond necklace she has. Ooh. Oh, Rani Sahiba. <laughs> you see how they, she look like she want to take it. She look like she want to steal it. Like, oh my God. Why is she looking at the necklace? <laughs> it's nice, it's big, it's shining, colorful. I love it. Namaste, Rani Sahiba. Yeah. Y'all remember him, guys? This is the judge from the courthouse who sent that man to jail for drugging the kids. <laughs> is she still staring? Hello? Yankee? Yankee? Huh? Like, hello, are you there? Are you lost? <laughs> she just daydreaming. Just how nice it is, how big it is. Thank you, Ami. He just asks her how much does it cost? She said that it costs a lot. A lot, okay, y'all. She don't know how much it's worth now, but she knows that it costs a lot of money, but back then. So, you looking at her like, you trying to steal this? You trying to steal this necklace? The queen necklace at that? Like you just staring, like nobody could see you. Hello. Hold up. I'm gonna pause right there. That's not the queen that just had the necklace on. Why is she wearing the necklace that the queen's supposed to be wearing? Yeah, I can close. Yeah, yeah, the boy hot. She's in shock right now. She don't know like what's going on. How she got this necklace? How her husband got this necklace? He can't afford it. So it's like, how? What? When? Huh? Okay, so he basically he bought it off the market. He got the necklace off the market. So it's not the original, guys. What? Why? I hope he did. I hope he's still it. We're going to keep our fingers crossed, guys. 